Three days and three nights. Yeshua died on Passover day, was buried during unleavened bread, and rose on first fruits. So why doesn't the Christian church mention any of this? Instead, they uphold to the traditions of men, which is Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Let's look at scripture. Matthew 12:40. For just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the sea monster, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Here we see that Yeshua prophesied that he will die and raise back up in 72 hours, three days and three nights. And on those three days and three nights, he will perfectly fulfill the appointed times found in Leviticus 23. You must know this little fact though. The start of any day in the Bible is at nightfall. Remember this as we go through scriptures. Here's a layout of the five days we will look at. We begin with Passover at nightfall. Today, this is our Tuesday night but the start of Wednesday according to the Hebrew calendar. This is the start of Passover. Yeshua has the Last Supper with his disciples. Then that same night after supper, they went into the garden where Yeshua prayed. He then gets arrested, questioned, and then beaten by the Jews. Now in the morning of Passover day, Yeshua is taken to Pontius Pilate and crucified. Matthew 27 verse 1 and 2. Now when morning of Passover had come, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Yeshua to put him to death. Yeshua was crucified and died on Passover day. Here he fulfills this day as the perfect Passover lamb. Then Yeshua is buried before the high Sabbath of unleavened bread. Here he fulfills the week long feast as he is the bread of life without sin. Matthew 27:57. And when it was evening of Passover, there came a rich man named Joseph. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it on his own new tomb. After this, we count three days and three nights total, a perfect 72 hours. After those 72 hours, we land on Sunday night, the first day of the week, and we have the resurrection, John 20, verse 1. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came early to the tomb while it was still dark and saw the stone already taken away from the tomb. And guess what? That first day of the week, Sunday, was the day of first fruits. He fulfilled first fruits as being the first fruit of the resurrection to come. We are to follow Yeshua, and not only did Yeshua observe these appointed times, but he also fulfilled them as the perfect Lamb of God, the unleavened bread of life, and the first fruit of the everlasting life after the grave. So why doesn't church teach these things? Instead, they replace them with the traditions of men. Please subscribe and share this video with your friends. Let's do away with the traditions of men and go back to the biblical appointed times that tell the story of the gospel. Thank you and Shalom.